book questions and it is I, Aaron the book Buster. Today I'll introduce you to this almighty book from this series. It is the last of its series really so it shouldn't be in the middle. This is in the middle. Kind of. This is supposed to be in chronological order here. But this is the book I'm talking about today since it's the newest one that came out, mind you. So yeah, it's in the middle. No fuss, right? So as you can see, it is the, the um, as you could say, the fifth season of Warriors, The A Vision of Shadows, the newest book, book six, the Raging Storm by Aaron Hunter, like always. So this whole series was about um Sky Clan, the fifth clan that was lost from um, coming back. Like like this whole series generally was about Sky Clan coming back, fighting Dark Tail, a band of rogue rogues, and the clans facing another season of hardship. And this time it's getting a bit, you know, evil. Um, so, so each of its the this book is about um, you know, as you can remember from this book, the Lake of Fire Warriors, A Vision of Shadows, Book Five. You can remember that we left off with Sky with Sky Clan owning half of Shadow Clan's old territory. And that was becoming a dispute. So um, Tiger Star was was saying uh, Tiger Star, the new Tiger Star, mind you, is doing tsh -tsh, and he's basically, you know, like really evil. He's not evil, but he's really proud and he wants his territory back from Sky Clan. And you know, it's really bad because and they want Sky Clan out of their territory. But the leaders, Brumblestar, is saying that he could give Sky Clan their land, but every clan had to give a give up a bit of theirs. But they, mind you, didn't even care. Her star was a bit so so about that idea. But Misty Star of River Clan, she was literally um uh uh no. Why should I care much about that Sky Clan? Yeah, it's really bad. So Sky Clan basically was driven out out of the forest the second time, which is annoying. Not from the same place, mind you, but with the other clans. And so the as always the main as always the conflict is going on with between Elderheart, the Thunder Clan's third medicine cat, you know. Number three, because they have J Feather, Leaf Bull, and you know Elder Heart, and there and there's the dispute between Finn Lip and Twig Branch about them being mates and love and all that icky stuff, and mm -hmm. also about Tree, the new role added into the clan community known as Meditator. You know, leader, deputy, warrior, medicine cat. There's a fifth role. Meditator. Great, huh? Yeah, so, and Sky Clan is giving the, the medicine cat's visions. A vision that there are four saplings intertwined together. Holding through a deep storm. But if one falls... From the storm, one by one, the storm wipes the five saplings away. And that sign means the five clans must stick together. Or one by one, they'll disappear. They'll be destroyed. And so Sky Clan must stay in the will of Star Clan themselves. And yet, yet the dispute is going on, and Sky Clan has already been driven out of their land. But as they as they find out from a little kid's vision and everything, and according to a little kid and using you are seeing who are seeing a vision of shadows. 
they managed to save it. The the um so the so the Thunder Thunder Clan, River Clan, and Wind Clan sent a patrol, a quest to find Sky Clan and get them back again, which is kind of old because it happened in the Vision of Shadows and in the Super and the Super Edition Fire Stars quest. Yep, it happened that long ago. <sighs> yes, that's uh, pretty much what happens in this book. And it it wasn't it was like a it's not like the classic warrior books. I mean, I mean I agree with some people who's saying that Aaron Hunter killed the main villain three books too early in Shatter's Sky. I mean, this kind of has a ting of classical warriors warriors, which by that I mean. The omen, the omen of the stars, the power of three, the new prophecy, and the prophecies began. But I kind of feel like there's a history loop that Harry Hunter is using, which it makes the remaining books kind of predictable. So, I have to say I really enjoyed this book, but kind of thought that Aaron Hunter, I don't know why, but I know there's another book. Warriors book series after A Vision of Shadows called Deep Broken Cold. But I mean, seriously, Aaron Hunter, you're going too far. I can see that you're running out of ideas and you're reusing old ones, and that's no fun at all. But still, it was a really good classic warrior book enterprise. And like always, your book quester and the book quester. Meow.